Hola and welcome! Today I do some improvements on my Amiga Pi project, mainly issues with the power. Thanks to a commenter on one of my last Amiga Pi videos, I discovered that my Raspberry Pi 3 isn't getting enough power. Now this is going to affect the performance and increase the chance of glitches and other errors. I had absolutely no idea that this colored square on the top right hand corner was, uh, you know, to do with the power. I just assumed there was some sort of disk activity light. Though I think a better indicator would be a red square or something that says low power. Anyway, so let's go. I begin this fix and improvement. So this is my Amiga Pi project. Now I have to get inside there and uh, sort out a better power, a better way for power and want to make sure that it's getting enough current. I mean, I had no idea about that stupid colored square that kept coming up. I used to wonder why I actually thought it was disk activity light. So, <laughs> it turns out that it's not. And I don't want my Amiga Pi to not have enough power going to it. So what I'm going to have to do is open this thing up. And this, taking this out is going to be a bit of a challenge because um, it is, of course, it is Millipad and it's become rock solid, so have fun watching me dismantle that. <laughs> oh, come on. Probably because of the milli pad. I I did not want to do that, but it happened. What the freak did it just pull out? Oh crap! Please turn it. Oh, I have to resolder that on the board again because that that yoink basically took the header off the circuit board. Oh freaks! Okay. Anyway, this is. After a brilliant start <laughs> already. Oh, nice, no. Okay, at least that's separated. I can concentrate on the oh <laughs> These these are all millipeded too. I basically solidified all this. Okay, so what I need to do is um I don't know what I need to do <laughs> for once. Okay, actually let's figure something out. Let's get rid of this stupid thing. First, I think this is also doubling up as a review on Millipad. <laughs> Get off. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do this, am I? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. This has become, this has turned to a rock. Okay, no, I can dig my way through. Okay, it's detached from there. So with enough, oh, okay, so this big clump came out. Yeah, I recommend many, but <laughs> it's strong. Oh man, this is gonna be so hard. Okay, so it's kind of just get this. Please, something give way, and please don't make it be the case breaking. Okay. Ah. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Okay, so this I don't need anymore. This, this need, I can use it for something else. Okay. Do you know what I'm... I've got a suspicion that was causing the... causing the power drop. Okay, this is the header that came off. The hard drive activity, or the disk activity lights. What's this? I'm gonna have to solder that back on again, so let's put that aside. I'm glad I actually put it inside an internal enclosure, because it means... It's actually come out now, so I can pop this just... I can just get this out and everything is happy. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> right, okay. What I need to figure out... Okay. What I is stupid is this is stupid cheaped out, isn't it? Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna directly solder wires on here. Because if I'm seeing correctly here, and this is the power in. And what I'm liking about this is that it's got solder pads on here. Now I hope that these these pads correspond with the power. I really hope that. <laughs> okay, so excuse the crude drawing, but 
That is the micro USB socket and it's the bottom side up as you can see here. The, the sloppy side is on the bottom here, you know, on the circuit board. So let's put it up this way. Looks like a fig roll. <laughs> Darn it, I'm gonna fig roll now. <laughs> right. So we have pin one here. So and that's plus five volts and ground is pin five. What I can do is plug this um, USB, the micro USB in there and measure which pins, if there's any pads around here, that give a power in. Okay, that is a negative. Let's see which one is positive. So this copper pad here seems to be negative and this copper pad here seems to be positive. But if you're doing this with your Raspberry Pi 3, please check it up yourself. Do not follow this, <laughs> because I don't want to be responsible for anyone blowing their Raspberry Pi up. I'm thinking, I'm just checking and I'm following my own judgment here. This one is negative. I'll double check them beforehand. And this one is positive. short and thin it and tri trim it. Okay so. okay, so this is gonna be the ground. It's just kind of okay, so we have here negative, which is this one, and positive, and they're both really strong, sturdy connections with thick, high current wires, so there should be no freaking problem with the power now. <laughs> I should have done this right at the beginning, but that's the thing with me. When it's something new, I'm always, you know, paranoid and it's extra safe and things like that, so it's so... Bad. Okay, that is a good, sturdy connection. So... Now then, what to do now is to solder back on this freaking LED header. It seems to have... Oh, darn it, it pulled out of the stupid circuit itself. Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have an activity light or not. Basically what has happened, and I'm seriously, you know, a little ticked off about this is that do you know when I was opening this case and because of the millipad I had to kind of yank it open these two wires pulled and they pulled the header instead of coming out of the header they pulled the header right off the circuit board which has taken the tracks off the freaking thing so there's no way to actually there's nowhere to solder this back on the tracks have come off so I'm I'm kind of ticked off about that, to be honest. So there's going to be no activity light. If any of you are Raspberry Pi experts and can tell me if there's any other pin that I can, you know, have an activity light LED, then please let me know. Because I would like an activity light LED. For now, I'm just going to have to tape these up so they don't short or do anything stupid. Yeah, I came in to fix one thing, broke another. <laughs> Oh, never mind. What happens, happens. Okay, so now what I have to do is solder the wires, the power for the power. Because I have a standard DC connector switch here, like the, the power adapter ones. And uh, the inside is positive, the outside is negative. So what I need to do is just connect that onto this now. So this in here.
found a power supply here, which is um, 5 volts and 8 amps. This should be freaking more than enough. I think it's overkill. <laughs> it's just I just saw it somewhere cheap. I decided to pick it up. It's working, and I think this will be perfect. And uh, this goes in here perfectly. Now let's just test this. <laughs> let's hope I don't blow this darn thing. I don't think it does. I've taken so much care here. I. Okay, it didn't blow, everything is fine, the power comes on, everything is good, I think. Except the hard drive activity is not working. If that stupid colored square comes on now, I don't know what the freak to do with this, because it's just... I mean, it's stupid because it's it's 8 amps output. I mean, what the freak does it want a substation? No, you know. Just imagine some situation. <laughs> anyway. Now then just put this back together. I'm really sad about the activity light. Okay, so the inner casing here is completely goofed, as you can see because it's so cheap. I need to get an another in inner casing and then just like reinstall this, but other than that, this is done. So it is time here for our friend Millipet. Let's hope this doesn't mess up the second time now. Stupid disk activity light is bugging me. The fact that it's not existent now. If I decide to get, you know, another Pi 3 for another project, I will swap it with this one. For now, if it works, at least I can, you know, at least it's working. Okay, so that looks good. This. And this actually looks neater than a freaking wire coming out of here. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so I kinda liking the look of it now. I need to once this dries I need to kinda paint around it black. So I just need to see edges of it. But I'm planning on one more episode with this. And um that is because there is a new OS being installed, uh, similar to the Apiga, but it's um, called the Amibian. It's a direct OS, a direct Amiga OS, which loads directly in the workbench. So I will have an attempt to install that, so there will be one more episode after this at some point. I would like to say thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for your likes, for your shares, and also do keep uh, leaving your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, of course, if you wish to see more, do subscribe. For now, I say adios.